Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Dr. Vijay Bhatia and today I'm going to talk about hypersomnia. Hypersomnia is a condition of either excessive daytime sleepiness and sleep attacks and these are not accounted for inadequate of sleep or there is a prolonged transition to the fully aroused state upon awakening. In the absence of an organic factor for the occurrence of hypersomnia, this condition is usually associated with mental disorder. There are four criteria to diagnose hypersomnia. The individual complains of excessive daytime sleepiness or sleep attacks, meaning they can't actually stop. They just fall asleep. Or of prolonged transition to the fully aroused state upon awakening. So meaning when they wake up, they there is a prolonged transition when they actually start feeling that they are awake. They feel as if they are drunk and this is called sleep drunkenness which is not accounted for by an inadequate amount of sleep. That is the first criteria for the hypersomnia to be diagnosed. Criteria B, the sleep disturbance occurs nearly every day for at least one month or recurrently for shorter periods of time and causes either marked distress, that is the word. In the first instance, the person complains themselves and the second instance, it is causing them distress. To the extent that it is interfering with their personal life, personal functioning in daily activities like washing, dressing, going to work, driving, uh, doing housework. It is affecting them. They just fall asleep or they feel so tired and sometimes it just attack happens and they can't help themselves and they find themselves sleeping either uh, wherever they are, whatever the situation is. Criteria C, there are no auxiliary symptoms of narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is a condition or neurological disorder where there is a cataplexy, there is sleep paralysis and there is hypnagogic hallucination. Hypnagogic hallucinations are when you fall asleep, you see the hallucinations. Hallucinations by definition mean that there is no stimulus, there is no objective uh, 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 stimulus outside. And you, when you fall asleep, you are seeing things or hearing things that are not there. And there is no clinical evidence of sleep apnea. This is a medical condition normally in a obese person. They fall asleep, they lie down, the tongue falls on their windpipe and the breathing stops and the brain doesn't get, get enough oxygen and they wake up, sit up to take a deep breath. And uh, there is times when there is a complete stoppage of breath at night and they, they, there is a typical intermittent snoring sound in sleep apnea. What is narcolepsy? Because we have to rule out if we are diagnosing hypersomnia. Narcolepsy means excessive daytime sleepiness. It is a neurological condition, neurological disorder. People with uh, this sickness they sleep off without any sign or without any warning at any place and any time 
and anywhere. They can fall asleep even when they are driving. It happens so suddenly and they are not even aware of it. And once they are asleep, obviously there is a diminished alertness for the duration of the day and hard to focus, that means lack of concentration, lack of attention, and they can't complete their work. There is sudden loss of muscle tone called cataplexy. What happens if you are falling asleep, then you literally fall down, lie down, because there is a sudden loss of muscle tone. You cannot control your muscles anymore. The sleep takes over. Sleep paralysis, this is an experience, an inability to move or talk while falling asleep or after waking. So if you, in the first instance, the sleep occurs so suddenly, and if you want to walk or talk, it, 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 you find that you can't because, because of the condition called sleep paralysis. And the same thing happens either when you're falling asleep or when you're waking up. When you wake up, your eyes might be open and you feel that you can't move your arms or legs or you can't even speak. That is called sleep paralysis. And this condition is called nar narcolepsy. It is a neurological condition. Hallucinations happen in narcolepsy as we discussed in the previous slide. But this is normally a, a hypnagogic type and they, they can happen when you're falling asleep and you start visualizing or envisioning and experience the fantasy as the reality. You are thinking in your mind or you are seeing things in your mind and you believe them as reality that can happen in narcolepsy. Criteria D is that there is no known causative organic factor such as neurological condition or other medical condition or even any use of psychoactive substance or any medication that may affect you uh, uh, that it causes the sudden sleep. Now, certain neurological conditions such as restless leg syndrome, they will, they will disturb your sleep. Obviously, next day you are too tired and you want to just fall asleep. And this can also happen in depression. People who are depressed um, during the day, they don't feel the energy. They don't feel uh, that they can focus on things they can, can't do the things they want to do. They don't li literally have any motivation and energy is not there. And this can happen in there. So we have to rule these things out to, to diagnose hypersomnia as a non-organic disorder. Thank you for watching. Please press the like button below if you like this video. And please subscribe this channel and share with others. Thank you for watching again. I see you again in my other videos.